Netflix are becoming quite savvy at just ramming movies down your throat at certain points. You know, I go on my, my phone, my computer, the TV, it's pushing a similar kind of movie down my throat all the time. A new one onto the service is Beneath. It came out in 2013 and I'd never heard of it, even though it was directed by Larry Fisenston, um, whom I really like um, and I love a lot of the things that he's had a hand in. This movie is an interesting concept. We have five friends who are going out to camp for the weekend to have fun. They've all got those little uh, relationship bubbles within the group. There seems to be one girl whom everyone else uh, wants to get with or has been with in one way or another. Um, they go to this place that they're going to camp out. They need to cross a lake to get there, um, which our, our kind of main character, Johnny, I think it is, or maybe, is a little bit wary of crossing over. When they're halfway across, they start to have a uh, just carry on, they're letting off fireworks, they're jumping into the water, pretending to be attacked and blah blah blah, when wouldn't you believe it, something actually attacks them and they find themselves on the boat trying to beat it off with the oars till the, the oars break and they're stranded in the water. They can't swim because something's there and going to get them and now we have to let the tension play out as we watch this group implode in front of our eyes. Sounds quite good, doesn't it? It never lasts all the way through the movie. In fact, this uh, the major problem I had with this film was the characters. They are atrocious, horrible human beings. None of them came close to anybody that I wanted to survive or make it through this movie. They were all just reprehensible and if you have no one to really latch on to, if you have no one to drive the story forward whom you like and want to survive, what are you doing? It creates a movie where I just wanted it to get to the end. I wanted to see how it finished off and it finished off in a, a kind of fashion that I was just like, good, this is done, I can turn it off now. It has this rather fake looking fish at certain points which is uh, devouring these children whenever it possibly can and even though it's a little bit um, silly looking at moments, it feels practical and I kind of appreciate that practicality of it. Yes, it's a little bit silly but it looks good, it was fun, it was interesting. It's a whole group of kids that I just don't like. There is enough blood and guts uh, to make this interesting enough if you're after that but what really really re kind of niggled at me and annoyed me was all the choices that they made now they were really frustrating and they're, necess they're a necessity for the story to play forward but to watch these guys like try to beat this thing in the water by jabbing an oar in it just made me want them to die sit down and row the boat back to shore don't be so stupid as to continue to do what you're doing. There is no plus point to it. You're not going to win. And then the movie just continues to play out with ridiculous choice after ridiculous choice and make it more silly and stupid and just frustrating. I didn't like Beneath. I thought I wanted to. Netflix rammed this down my throat. I think there's a good, strong idea at the heart of it. Unfortunately, the characters just pissed me off uh, to a point where I had no interest in any of them. I just didn't care. They were all horrible. Did Netflix force Beneath onto you? I tell you it was one of the top 10 watched movies that day. I'd love to know your thoughts on this movie. Surely it can't just be me. It takes a lot for me to dislike a movie. I disliked Beneath. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box below and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.